Good morning. We're here out at Shriners Iris Gardens today, and we're here to share some great helpful hints on how to take um, the iris and use them as fresh flowers. Um, I'm an extended family of Shriners as my friends. I'm Sue from the Green Thumb Florist, and um, it's just fun to be here. A tool that you might need would be either a knife or a clippers. Um, I recommend your own comfort zone in whichever you choose. Um, I'm comfortable with a knife, so today we're going to use more of a knife. We're going to start out with um, the possibility of keeping it simple. And so for us, you can take um, the beautiful iris. So look at your iris, and the beauty of the iris is the fact that it has multiple blossoms on a stem. So what we're going to start with is a simple vase that we're going to kind of go to the one and a half times the top of the vase and we're just going to give it a sharp cut and put it in and then what we're going to do is bring it down to kind of keeping it about the size of your hand apart. So what I like to do is study the stem and in this case to get the stem to the bottom of the vase, we're gonna cut it right here. And again, put that in. And we're gonna hold on to that because we're gonna use it later. And like I said, the beauty is the fact that it does have so many blossoms on a stem. And again, we're gonna cut this one down right above that blossom. So you're gonna get two stems out of one. I'm doing this one-sided for you. And then we've got some fabulous foliages from Ray's Yard, one of the Shriners. And so we're gonna add some foliage and I always call it walking in the yard. It's fun to go out this time of year and just walk through your yard and see what's blooming. In this case, I put the flowers in first and I've got them going at that kind of palm portion apart. And then I'm going back and adding a little bit of the filler. See what I'm doing here. Great. Put one more piece in. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with three simple stems as far as in the vase. One thing I will share with you is depending on the size of the mouth, depends on how many flowers it holds. By far, it will take more, excuse me, less to fill this vase than this vase. So when you go through your cupboards, take a look at what you have and just give that thought. If you have a whole bunch of flowers to put in them, it's going to take a bigger vase. So what we're going to do this time is put our foliage in first. So it kind of gives you another technique in arranging. What you do want to try to do is not have too much, if any, in the water. You want to have nice clean stems to go in. But this creates a frog to put your flowers into. And what we're going to do here is again take a bunch of our flowers and we're going to do it a little shorter. So one thought is that with the vase being about six inches tall, you can do the flowers about six inches tall. So we're gonna tuck that in there and tuck the buds. And in all truthfulness for a garden flower grown outside, you can get up to a week as far as how long these will last. So that is a great 
um, point of using them is how long they last. So we're just going to tuck some of our little stems in that if you look at your stem and you're a little overwhelmed how big it is, that you can cut them down and make this great little bouquet and use a few greens out of your yard and tuck in. So you can take something that's very tall and make it very sweet and simple. just going to tuck these in to make it nice and full and compact and this will last up to a full week and the other thing is is as one flower gets a little spent you can just pull it out and then you've got the others to enjoy I'm just gonna tuck a little few more of the foliage in here just to give it that contrast that sets the iris off. Let's see, another little finished piece right here, and that'll just because I don't like this here, I'm gonna modify that leaf a little. So this kind of shows you the versatility of your iris. Same stem lengths, but just more tall, dramatic, but then a little shorter, sweet, compact. Same greens, just kind of gave um, a background to the flowers and a way to, I put the flowers in first and then added my greens. And this I put the greens in first and used as a frog or a filler to kind of set it off.